The VMets are set to kick off this six-game homestand tonight with a doubleheader against the Reading Phillies, who sit four games ahead of Binghamton in the Eastern League. Welcome to the BMets pregame show. I'm Spencer Thurling. Over the weekend, the BMets took two of three from the Trenton Thunder, and earlier, Pedro Lopez talked about it. I think, you know, we're comfortable. Um, you know, of course, we, you know, uh, one of uh, our goals was to be up higher in the standings. But, you know, we, we have had a lot of moves, and uh, I was talking to the coaching staff um, not too long ago um, on the road trip, and, you know, we, we talked about, you know, we're in good position. So we just, uh, uh, our consistency needs to come, you know, from the guys playing every day, you know, uh, right next to each other. And, you know, and like I said, you know, we have some, uh, whether it's an injury or maybe, uh, whether it's a move on top uh, that happens at the big league level that needs, a guy needs to move from here. You know, so that, that makes it tough on, on the guys. But, you know, like, uh, for instance, you know, we, we had a terrific uh, road trip and uh, Matt Dendecker uh, got called up to Buffalo. So, you know, we got Dustin Martin. It's going to come in and fill up uh, Mart, uh, uh, Matt's uh, spot. So hopefully, you know, he helps us out. On the topic of lots of roster moves happening, one of the places that happens a lot is within the bullpen. What have you done to help keep the bullpen in sync this season? Well, uh, one of the things is just like uh, throwing them out there so they can pitch. You know, that's the main thing. You know, just make sure that we give them enough innings in order for them to stay sharp. Uh, hopefully, we can keep uh, I'm doing that. I know uh, as late, it's been uh, uh, a little tough because our starting pitcher is being able to go deep in the ball games. Um, you know, for the most part. So, you know, we just got to pick our stuff, get, try to give them an inning here and there, and just try to keep everybody sharp. And tonight kicking off a six-game homestand, starting off with the Reading Phillies. You guys played them once so far this year. What can you tell us about this team? Well, it's a good, uh, it's a good hitting ball club, that's for sure. You know, they got good pitching, you know, uh, they got good hitting. I know that, uh, you know, some of these guys that, we get, uh, that we're going to face here uh, three days, we have faced them for a while. Uh, we got a, a pretty good feel about, uh, about their team. But uh, they're also, you know, they're, they're a good uh, hitting ball club and they got good pitching. So, you know, I'm expecting a good series. Hopefully uh, we can go out there, swing the bats, and uh, make sure we uh, execute our pitches. Eric Campbell is now the BMET's leading offensive player. Campbell has been crushing the ball this season. Since May 1st, he has hammered out a 352 batting average for third best in the Eastern League. Campbell is quite the threat at the plate thanks in part to his league-leading 437 on-base percentage. What has made the BMET's first baseman so successful has much to do with his methodical approach to hitting. All right, Eric, you lead the league in on-base percentage. Tell us about your approach at the plate. Well, you know, I try to, uh, usually I try to take a pitch early in the game just to see, you know, what the pitcher has. And then when it's a count that I like hitting and I try to be aggressive towards my pitch. And if it's not there, I just take it. With Dendecker getting called up, a lot of people are saying you're now the offensive leader on this team. Do you think that changes your role with this club at all? No, I think everyone in the lineup's got to pick it up a little bit. He was obviously really hot. He deserved to be called up. So hopefully, uh, you know, all nine guys in the lineup can, can contribute tonight and for the rest of the season. Today you guys are facing Pettibone, and last time against him he had a rough outing. What can you tell us about his pitching style? Uh, from what I remember, I haven't really gone over the report yet. He, uh, he was aggressive in the strike zone, so we, you know, we were also aggressive with him and uh, we put some good swings and scored some runs early and uh, you know, gave us a good win. That last start for Pettibone came on May 31st. He's 5-5 five five on the season with a 3.92 ERA. The B Mets will counter with Mark Cahoon, who's found plenty of his own success in Binghamton this season. B Mets and Phillies' first pitch is on the way.